Hello. In today's video, we're going to be talking about measles. Now, measles is caused by a contagious virus called morbillivirus. It was first isolated and cultured through human and monkey kidney tissue in 1954 by John Enders and Thomas Chalmers. The structure of MV or morbillivirus is about 120 to 250 nanometers in diameter. Um, MV is a single-stranded RNA virus and consists of the RNA genome and nucleocapsid protein surrounded by a lipid envelope derived from host cell membranes, which contains hemagglutinin and fusion, which is glycoproteins. The measles virus is housed in the mucus of the nose of an infected individual. When they cough or sneeze, the droplets spray into the air where other people can inhale them or can be picked up off surfaces where the droplets may have landed. Now, the signs and symptoms include coughing, sneezing, high fever, runny nose, and a rash. And that rash can appear on the skin and in the mouth and throat. Now, measles can be diagnosed in several ways. A visual examination of any rashes can be done by a doctor. However, the CDC recommends either a nasopharyngeal throat swab, um, blood test, or urine test be conducted from all patients with a suspected case of measles. The life cycle of morbillivirus is broken down into four stages, and that's the incubation phase, the prodromal phase, the rash phase, and the recovery phase. The incubation phase typically lasts eight to 12 days after exposure to the virus and does not have any symptoms. Now the prodromal phase begins at the onset of the first symptoms, which begin gradually and include a fever, a runny nose, and red eyes. Usually the fever is the first symptom noticed by parents uh, the fever rises steadily and may reach maximum temperatures of 130 degrees Fahrenheit to, excuse me, 103 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, at the height of the fever, the rash develops, and approximately two to four days after the onset of the symptoms, the rash appears, marking the beginning of the, the rash phase. The symptoms of the prodromal phase worsen, with the onset of the rash, but then begin to decrease in severity. The measles rash is a flat or a slightly raised rash and it's not itchy at all. Um, it first appears as irregular spots on the upper forehead or behind the ears and on the neck within 24 hours. It progresses to the entire face, head and neck, over the next two to four days, the rash extends to the chest, back, and extremities, including the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. It remains most prominent on the face, though, especially on the cheeks. And after four to five days, the rash begins to subside and marking the beginning of the recovery phase. Um, so sometimes a very fine flake uh, on the skin is noted as the rash phase. And about 10 to 14 days after developing the rash, the child is back to normal um, and to their normal levels of activity. And one of the characteristics findings of the measles virus is the presence of spots known as coplic spots inside the mouth. These tiny pinpoint blue white spots begin as a few lesions on the inside of the cheeks typically occurring one to two days before the rash and increase rapidly in number over the next 24 hours. Uh, they begin to fade as the rash appears and usually disappear by the second day of the rash. Now, the mechanism that causes the symptoms of the rash is that during the rash phase, infected lymphocytes and detrientic site cells, excuse me, migrate into the subepithelial cell layer and transmits measles to the epithelial cells, and they become inflamed, causing that. Um, pronounced measles rash. 
Um, unfortunately, there is no cure for the measles virus. Um, it does have to run its course. Now, there are remedies that can be done to make the infected more comfortable, such as getting plenty of rest, gargle with warm and salty water, and taking ibuprofen. But the best way to prevent the measles rash virus, well, excuse me, the measles virus uh, is getting vaccinated with the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. I do thank you for your time um, and hope to see you guys back soon on my YouTube channel that I just started this year.